Welcome back to the Chad Hasty Show. News Talk KFYO. Thank you very much for tuning in. Final hour of today's program. And we get to kick it off talking about something which is a lot of fun. Something I love. Cigars. Ron from Smokers Haven back with us here in studio. Welcome back. Uh, thanks for having me back, Chad. It's Ab- great to be here. Absolutely. Glad to have you in. And uh, y'all have a big event going on uh, this evening. Yeah, we have. It's a, it's, it is a big event. It's my father's cigar company um, from 4 to 8 p.m. at Smokers Haven tonight. Uh, 5102 60th Street Suite Inn, across the street from the mall and just north of Furs. This is, it, it, I mentioned it earlier in the show, this is one of my, my favorite line brand uh, of cigars because they're just, I, I have not had a, whether it's Don Pepin, whether it's my father, I have not had a bad stick yet from my father's cigars. Oh, it's really hard to find a bad stick from my father's cigars. Um, I mean, when you have two cigars that were the cigar of the year in the same decade, so we have the Flor de las Antillas, which was the cigar of the year in 2012, and then the Le Bijou, which is the cigar of the year in 2015, you're a company and you know you're doing something right. Yeah. Especially when you have Don Pepin, their master blender, doing a couple of their lines as well. Yeah, well, tell folks a, a little bit about, and, and uh, again, they've got a whole bunch of different cigars, a whole bunch mm-hmm. of different uh, cigars that people can try, but kind of give people a, an, an overall, like, I guess, an overview of of uh, My Father's Cigars and what they're kind of going to get uh, from that brand. All right, well, My Father's Cigars is based out of Esteli, Nicaragua. Um and you're going to get – it depends on what cigar you want. If you want something medium-bodied um, with a little bit of, you know, almost like a creamy taste, that Flor de las Antillas is going to be the way to go. If you want something a little bit stronger, there's a Jaime Garcia, which is probably my favorite My Father cigar. It's a nice uh, white and blue band. Um, and that one's got a fair amount of spice to it. The Le Bijou with that Oscuro um, Habano wrapper is going to have a lot of spice. If you really want some spice, if you want something um, with a with just a touch of spice and maybe like a hint of cinnamon, at least that's what I get from it. That La Antiquidad is a phenomenal cigar. Mm. Um, I mean, there is not a bad cigar in the bunch. This is going to be a big event. And if you're a first timer or just want to learn more about cigars, this would be the time to come because there's something for everyone from yeah. my father's cigars. Absolutely. One, one of my kind of go to cigars is this Don Pepin Blue label. Oh, the Don Pepin Blue. That's what... um couple of us recommend for people who are just starting out in cigars not necessarily their first cigar but i'm sure you'd agree chad it's a good my it's yeah. a good medium bodied cigar not a lot of spice it's a good introductory cigar it's one of those that you know if you if you uh, let's say it's a saturday morning you want to sit outside smoke a cigar i think it's a great cigar for that uh if you're out on the golf course it's a good cigar there. I mean, it's just it, it's just a good overall, all around cigar. Uh, like I said, the Jaime Garcia, that one is just that's one where you know you kind of sit down maybe at the end of the day and just enjoy that one. That that's it's a great one. Yeah, that is one you sit down at the end of the day, you enjoy, preferably with some type of whiskey or scotch. Neat as always, but Jody, yes. let's go ahead and get the uh, scotch out. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's light them up. Let's, <laughs> have, let's go, yeah, let's let's end uh, in, in the show on a good note. Uh, so tonight you've you've got the big event, the My Father's Cigar mm-hmm. event. Uh, tell folks what these events are like and, and what they can kind of expect at, at Smoker's Haven. So these events are always a great time. Um, usually we kick them off about 4 p.m. Um, so if you're just getting off work, you know, feel free to swing by. Um, there's always some type of door prizes. You write your name on a little slip of paper and about 6 p.m. or so we start drawing for those. Usually it's a cigar or two people can win. Um, there's always food and beer. Um, and of course, water and sodas available as well. Um, thanks to, um, James Rodriguez, who's doing the brisket for tonight, um, which of course is always delicious. Um, and it's just, it's just a great time of people hanging out and they've always, and this is one of the things I love about the cigar industry is you go to any shop and you've got something in common with everyone there. You're, you know, you're purveyors of, a and enjoyers of a quality product. And so you strike up a conversation with anyone in the shop. And you've already got something to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, uh, there are going to be specials, uh, which uh, people will be able to find out about uh, when they get to Smoker's Haven mm-hmm. tonight during the event from 4 to 8 p.m. Uh, overall, with the cigar industry, you know, we were talking off air uh, mm-hmm. about some of the, the – I mean, it just seems like all the time we're, getting, we're seeing new sticks uh, coming out. And it's because of some FDA regulations that – 
are still sort of on the books uh, as they may happen. We don't know. It's kind of in limbo, right? It, it's very much in limbo. So this whole charade, shall we say, started <laughs> in about 2016 uh, when the FDA decided they were going to take control of the vape industry like they did with cigarettes. And then at the last minute, they tacked on um, cigars and pipes. Um so and all of this, of course, is done in the interest of protecting the children. Right. Um, which, a lot of a lot of five year olds who wander off the streets and accidentally in a smoker's haven. That's. I mean, it happens. It happens more than you think. <laughs> um, but we. So yeah. So since then, it's been this constant fight to, um, you know, to lobby for for cigar rights because it, it's very much a different market. The people who are going to, or the you know, the high schoolers aren't going to go out and buy, uh, you know, a f- five to ten dollar cigar and like, hey, you want to cut gym and go smoke this hour long cigar behind right. the behind the auditorium it just doesn't happen um and so it, there's a lot of ignorance behind yeah. it and then that's what you get a lot of times with washington dc and you know they, they want to take control of uh, of the industry mm-hmm. and it's things uh, i know that there are a couple of senators who are working on this because this mm-hmm. could severely impact not only uh, you know the 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 uh, the rollers and, and 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 the companies. It could impact you guys. Oh, it would definitely impact all the all the mom and pop shops um, because our prices would have to go up to cover the cost of however much it takes to submit a blend to the FDA for approval. Yeah, um, yeah. So it's uh, it, it's something that I, I, hopefully a lot of people are keeping an eye on, and mm-hmm. uh, hopefully they'll uh, they'll get rid of that rule uh, before it fully kicks in. What did you say? Twenty twenty one? Somewhere around twenty twenty one. I've I've heard. I mean, it's all it's all up in the air at this point. Yeah. So. Uh, Smokers Haven uh, tonight. The My Father's Cigar event happening from four to eight p.m. Uh, they'll have specials there. Also specials. In store on everything else uh, that that you have in store, right? Yeah, so it's ten percent off everything in the store. So if there's also a uh, a lighter or cutter you're looking for, which if anyone feels like being nice to me, there's the Zykar two torch I really want, um, but you can steal it from me. It's okay. Um, we so you know specials like that, and then of course it all depends on the rep. But if you buy my father's cigars, there's always specials along yeah. something like that. So for example, uh, last month we had our big 50th anniversary party and the Crown Heads event, and it was something like buy five cigars get two free. So something along those lines could very well happen tonight. Very and nice. Uh, tell folks where Smokers Haven is located at. So again, Smokers Haven. This is 5102 60th Street, Suite Inn. It's that same shopping plaza as that CC's Pizza. We're directly across the street from the mall and just north of Furs. All right. Ron, thanks for stopping by. Oh, thanks for having me. Good to see you. And, and uh, tonight, get out to the uh, Smokers Haven My Father's Cigar event. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Trust me, you can't go wrong with any of the cigars that you get uh, from my father and any of the cigars that you get at Smoke or Saving just any other day. They're going to help you out uh, picking out the right cigar for you, whether you're a beginner or if you're like me, you like all kinds of cigars, they can help you out and give you some uh, different tips and advice. Chad Eastie Show KFYM.